My name is Chad Snow. I'm the chairman of Citizens for a Better Arizona. We want to thank you all for being here on this historic day, and it is a very historic day for Arizona. In 100 years of statehood, over 1,000 people have served in the state legislature, and never before has one of them been so extreme, so out of touch with the concerns and the values of everyday Arizonans that they've been recalled until today. Russell Pierce has done untold damage to our state's economy and to our national reputation. He has a fanatical obsession with one issue that he has pursued at the expense of everything else that is important to everyday Arizonans. The legislation he has pursued has been ineffective. It has cost our state tens of millions of dollars to implement and defend in court, and it has run hundreds of millions of dollars in business out of our state. Russell Pierce has attacked the United States Constitution. We feel he has been dishonest with the people of Arizona, most recently with the Fiesta Bowl scandal and his association with neo-Nazis. Russell Pierce, in short, has created a toxic political climate in the state of Arizona that is unfriendly to business, unfriendly to education, and is causing permanent damage to our state's future. Today, uh, when, when we started this historic effort 120 days ago, we were told that we needed 7,750 signatures to recall Russell Pierce. Today we are here with substantially more than that number. Randy Pottis will announce the official number in just a moment. But we want those extra signatures to send a message. We want to send a message to Senator Pierce and to every other legislator down here in the Arizona legislature that this kind of extreme, ideologically driven politics will no longer be tolerated in our state. When we have a legislature that focuses on issues that are important to all of these Arizonans that are here behind me and every Arizonan, issues like job creation, economic growth, health care, and most importantly education, then we will truly have, as the name of our group uh, is called, a better Arizona. I want to thank you all again for coming here. I'm going to turn the time over to the co-founder of Citizens for a Better Arizona, Randy Potos, who's going to make the official announcement uh, of the recall and explain what we do from here. All right, thank you very much. Thank you all for being here. First of all, can anyone who, who lives in LT18, please raise your hand. Anyone who actually helps circulate a petition, you walk, you talk with you, raise your hand if you circulate a petition. Look at these folks. Yeah. These are the people who went door to door, right? So we're here to tell you this is not going to be the exact number because right now and upstairs too, we're going to be notarizing the final petitions because people went out this morning and walked. So we're here prepared to say is that we're going to show you this graph that in 2010, November, Russell Pierce got 17,552 votes. And we're prepared today to turn in 18,315 signatures. <laughs> Do you believe in Russell Pierce has a vision for Arizona? Do you believe in his policies and his laws? And, and time after time, people start signing this signature, start signing this petition. So then everyone can say, looking up now, and they can say whatever they want. But last time I checked, you cannot force anyone to sign a petition. You can't control them, you cannot pressure them, they either do it or they don't. And now Arizona's are stepping up, saying we're tired of this type of politics, we want a different vision and a different direction for Arizona. So at this point, we're going to be coming back and you'll be hearing from more of our speakers. We're going to go up, we're going to turn this in. You'll be hearing from Mary Lou Betcher. You'll be hearing from Todd Slick. Todd Slick, he's the gentleman that actually had the courage to sign the petition back on January 31st when we found he brought his daughters today. Now we're going to lead us in to sign the other paperwork to say here we are 120, day, 120 days later to turn these in. So we're going to be going up right now. So if you're, you're supposed to lift, you're going to have the kids grab the petitions. We're going to move up. The question is, do you need to rotate? Hey, hey, hey. 